Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you for, you know, there are so many different signs that's coming through to us about our lives that we truly need to know that is going to head us towards the big and beautiful blessings that we truly deserve. So make sure you keep an eye out for your omens, your sacredness these as well as your visions so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and uh, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and also if you are comfortable enough drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or uh, you just tell me about your impact to give, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if the video is very informative to you or just gives you good vibes or you want to share it with a loved one, family or friend or even a fellow empath, uh, they're going, needing spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, the music that I'm listening to in the background is called Feel the Power in Your Soul. Uh, purify your mind, body, and soul. Quantum energy, healing, sound therapy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, because why the powers that be close certain doors in your life to uh, place you in a different direction. It's like, you know, doing my, my situation, you know, everybody, I feel for anybody who has to go through spiritual awakening, especially if you got to go through the spiritual awakening, ascension, kundalini, and dark night of the soul all at one time. You know, there's been a blessing for me where there's people I've connected with and they're telling me, Rosalind, my life has fell apart. You know, I think I'm going crazy. You know, all these mental sit you know, mental illness symptoms is popping up because a lot of times when we go through a lot of things and it's like we have to go through these trial and errors throughout our life for that switch, that empathy switch to be popped on. And it could be a gift that you weren't really aware of. You know, a lot of things that we have planned in our lives to do whatever we want in our lives. Sometimes, you know, God has something else that he has in store for us because it was just with me, like I've told y'all before, um, since I was a little girl. You know, I always want to be able to help people. I always want to be able to, you know, make their heart shine and just put a smile on their face. I never knew how I was going to do that, but I was determined to do it. You know, thinking about my life in the making of things that has happened, you know, it's just like universe allows me. That's why I love my solitude because it ha has me really dive deep and really see my life for what it was and what it is and what it's going to be. You know, all these different things come into play that, you know, I've been placed in certain situations and placed in certain heartaches. You know, all these things that allows you to be able to really reflect on how things have been. You know, then all, uh, you know, after you go through your spiritual awakening and knowing you're stepping out at 3D level, as you look at life so differently, <laughs> so, so differently. You know, I remember having, you know, dreams throughout my years of situations as this, you know, and I used to wake up just crying, like headache crying, like, you know, and my mom was like, girl, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't know, mom, I'm just having this dream where, you know, there's times that I would see my mom's ex-husband and his wife and her children laughing at me while I'm in the sinking place. Like, I used to have nightmares about that. Um, I remember when I was five years old, I used to scream for my dad. It was not my, you know, my adopted dad, but it was for my biological one because it was like our dreams was start off so beautiful. You know, it looks like we're in a place that was so bright and pretty. You know, you're seeing bunnies and stuff all over the place, deer, and we're sitting up under this big tree, you know, just laughing and talking like doing like father and daughter situations. And being able to be that part of his life that, you know, not too many people seen, you know, so it was a beautiful thing. I always used to touch him on his chest and say, you know what, this is where your happiness lies at. And you see tears coming from his face and he's like, yeah, yeah, it is. So, you know, going through all those different things and having those uh, traumatic situations at five years old, I remember telling my mom's ex-husband, he was like, why are you always so mad at me when you wake up in the morning? And, you know, when I cried, I looked him right dead in his face, you know, and I always used to, you know, fear my dad, 
you know, at certain instant, you know, because, you know, he was the man. So, you know, I used to be so scared of him. But at that one time, you know, I said, I don't know what you're going to do. And I, I remember putting my hand on his face and I tears just coming down and just saying, one day you're going to really break my heart. You know, I don't know what it is, but you're going to break my heart really bad. And it was just like, who told you? You know, he thought somebody told me things, but it was just like I was in full empath mode when I was like four or five. There's things that used to pop up saying, I, you know, I'm just like, God, dog, I was really, <laughs> you know, I was, my, I was in my gift. You know, it's just like when you're born as an empath, it just seems like because you're a child, we have such a big imagination. We're allowed to see things that adults don't see, you know, especially as children, children can um, being able to know there's okay to go to certain people and then sometimes it's not you know um i've experienced all those different things in my life you know being able to find out you know who i was related to being able to push out and just see that you know your family knew the whole time your mom pushed for you to be able to know you know uh my biological father and my mom uh biological mom but her husband didn't want that you know um jealousy i don't know if it was just because of the celebrity situation or, you know, he used to use the excuse because all the women he used to have in his life, he didn't want that. He didn't want me to be able to see stuff like that. But, you know, through all of that, you know, it, it was a painful situation to go through. You know, it, it's just like God has allowed me to be able to be blessed, to be able to tell the people, whoever is listening, you know, all these different things that I've experienced. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Um, being able to not have closure after a parent dies, wasn't even able to say goodbye. You know, he always told me, don't you ever say that to me. <laughs> he was like, you, you will never say goodbye to me, regardless of where I'm at or why I'm, you know, what kind of setting he's in right now because it's spiritual. You know, he was like, you always had me, so don't ever tell me goodbye. Don't ever tell me you miss me. And there's times I tell myself, I'm sorry, Dad, but I do miss you. You know, but I can at least say God has allowed me to be able to listen to his music, you know, see other people, you know, love him the way they do being able to say to hear that people say they you know through the dark times my dad's music really got them through a lot or just being able to see him perform it was a blessing for me it still is you know there's times you know i cry you know i go back to that that little girl that you know every time i used to see my dad perform on tv when he'd leave um, I would get really upset because I'm just like, this is how it always happens. He's leaving me, but this is not something that he chose to. It, it was just like it was orchestrated in that way. And, you know, there's a lot of things that goes on in our lives where we can choose one direction for ourselves, but universe and God has a totally different agenda for us. So we have to go through these series of things. You know, I've connected with so many people that tell me about the abuses they, they've been through, you know. Um, asking me, Rosalind, how do I make this stop? You know, there's a lot of things we have to go through. I only can tell my experience and, you know, being able for you to be able to reflect on the things that you're currently going through or have went through, be able to say, you know, your pain has a bigger purpose to it. You know, I've made a few videos about that. Your pain has a bigger purpose. A lot of times we have to go through different struggles for you to be able to be that monarch or whatever they want to call it, or that, that person of example, to be able to tell people, yes, I went through these things, but yes, I also survived them as well. You know, um, being able to know that everybody deserves happiness. There's a lot of times we get frustrated because we have our lives planned out. You know, we say that, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, what's your short term girl? What's your long term tone girl? goals and all these different things i tend to not write down stuff like that <laughs> because it's just a fact you know it might work for other people but it's just like the way god has things set up for me you know it is it's like i can plan one thing and he has a totally different agenda you know making my videos almost close to three years ago i can't believe i've been doing this almost three years you know it was just set out to find my mom and on this journey of finding out who you know uh, who my mom was, how my mom's family was, um, knowing my dad, knowing the different things about him. It was a blessing to be able to find out who my mom is, you know. It was sad because I couldn't connect with her, can't connect with her. You know, I, I don't know what goes on through her head, but it never stopped me from loving her just because she didn't want to have that connection with me. Um, but still going through these things, I'm able to help others see the power within themselves, see the journey within themselves. You know, you might have your life you know, planned out a certain way, but, you know, there's a reason why, you know, you could be going for a job or this situation, 
you know, you might have a job and it's just the fact is you start, you know, the job is becoming a burden to you, you know, so it's just like all these different signs that pop up in your life that they're, you're, they're closing doors on certain things, whether it has something to do with a marital status or um, a friendship or, you know, employment, or it's just your livelihood can flip within an instant. You know, we go through all these experiments for us to be able to be something that, you know, you have to go through just for you to be able to know where your path is taking you. You're finding your purpose in life. You know, a lot of times it's sad when we can walk around and don't know what our purpose is in life, or we think we have our purpose figured out, and it's the total 360 than what you even plan for yourself. So there's a lot of times that you have to go through a series of mishaps, mistakes, failures, you know, for you to be able to appreciate the wet doors are about to be open for you a lot of times that you pray for one thing and you know you allow that to you speak this to you know saying this affirmation towards the universe and yes they're they're listening to you and they're hearing 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 you and they're always you know putting stuff together to be able to have blessings out for us that way but it might be totally different than what you asked for you know you have to go through a lot of series you know it's like a lot of y'all i've talked to on the side and you're telling me things that you have endured you know um things you've experienced in life to where you know why you're so timid about opening up you know it's a blessing for you know people to tell me raza i never opened up to anybody before but i'm glad i did because you never judged me i said i'm not god how can i judge you i gotta judge you because you sin differently than me no you know, I'm very open about the situations that I've been in. You know, I never forget where I came from. I know, you know, there are certain people I know that are out there that, you know, are in the limelight and stuff like that. And, you know, they try to act like, you know, they were all brand new and stuff like that. That you know, I'm like, don't forget, hey, you used to get food stamps and you used to do this and this and that when we were back in the day. So don't act like you ain't did nothing. I'm like, Dad, Rosalyn, you don't throw me under the bus like that. Yeah, because sometimes people got to give you a rude awakening because you think you're better than everybody else. Uh, my mom always taught me you have to give the same respect to the janitor as well as you do the CEO. Nobody's better than anybody. The only big difference is that they got probably more money in the bank than the other person do. That's the only thing, but that still makes people human. You know, you should be able to just do that so it's just a lot of times our situations in life you know our life experiences will take us in a totally different direction we weren't even prepared for a lot of times we get upset because God doesn't give us what we want at that time and it's like you have to be able to be grateful for that because just for that time of you being a part just like I was saying in the other video it has you on the the waiting list for your blessings there's a lot of things you have to endure there's a lot of lessons that you need to be able to see you know, a lot of people I've seen successful that has blown my mind with their situations they have even endured in life and being able to have that smile on your face to be able to help others. You know, I, that's what I love to do. You know, while I'm over here waiting for my stuff, I'm, I'm improving myself, being able to forgive when there's times I didn't think that that was able to be possible. You know, um, being able to have that patience and being able to have that faith in myself that you can conquer anything. Yeah, there's sometimes you'll have speed bumps that comes into your life, but you have to be able to challenge some speed bumps at times. You know, being able to say, you know, this is not going to be that that stops me. You know, you're, you're molding your life to how it's supposed to be, where you're guided to. You know, a lot of times, you know, y'all tell me, oh, I want this and I want that. I say, you're able to do anything you apply yourself to do. But it's just the first off before you allow those things to happen. There are certain things we have to let go of for us to be able to reach those goals. You know, you can't be able to get blessings in your life if there's still a hidden anger there. Or you haven't let certain things go. You haven't forgiven yourself for allowing yourself to be triggered by certain things. Those are the things that universe allows us to be able to go through for us to really see why certain things have happened. You you know we can be pissed <laughs> and be like oh well this person did this to me and this and this and yes they did you know it might not have been right no you know you probably haven't got justice but that shouldn't be your business that shouldn't be your main concern is to making sure that person get payback that is not that's not your job to do you know I had to learn that I, I can't sit up here and be constantly pointing fingers at my family yes I allowed you to know what I've, I've been through but I'm very grateful that I went through these things as well the only thing that was sucky is that you know I didn't get to see my dad that's the main thing and I didn't get a chance to meet my mom those are the main things that I, I really regret you know being able to know my grandparents because 
you know, both my grandparents on both sides, as far as I know, have passed away. You know, there's a lot of people I would have loved to be able to connect with. But it's a blessing that I'm able to, you know, talk to my grandmother, Maddie, my dad's mom, you know, hear my grandpa, John, uh, talk to me every once in a while. He's a smooth talker and I see where my daddy gets it from. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of different things that I, you know, I regret that happened. But also there's things that I can say, even those through those regrets, I end up getting blessings in return anyway, bigger than the, the regrets came. So it's just a lot of times when we're going through spiritual situations where we feel like we have our lives all planned out, we have to just worry about the now. You know, yes, there's things that has occurred in your life that can be very heartbreaking, but trust and know what you put out is what you get back. It might not be back when you want those things to happen or you feel like you need justice. Everybody, you know, has that right to feel that way, but that shouldn't be your main agenda. You know, you can just, all it's, it's like for people that has gone out their way to hurt you, you have to pray for those people. You know, you have not worry about, oh, you know, I can't wait to, you know, they, you know, how they say, stick it to the man. You know, you couldn't be doing that because you're, you're missing the whole situation of you going through that process in the first place. You have to be able to let go of that anger. I, there's so many days I had to get, put myself in a mirror, even with tears on my face saying I had to let go of that anger with that family. You know, I don't consider them family because I feel like family wouldn't do that to you. But there are people that were placed in my life to bless me uh, with strength. Yes, I'm grateful for that situation. This situation has made me so much stronger than I ever thought I would be able to do. It had me so blessed and grateful for things that has occurred in my life. You know, even though there's times I cried, you know, and that's anybody, especially if you lose a, a, a loved one or especially a parent, you know, but knowing there was a parent that I never got a chance to have that reconciliation with or you know being able to have that union with them in the physical you know it was very heartbreaking but it's just like I said before not everything is what it seems to to be you know you have to go through a series of things you never know you know I might end up meeting my biological family sometime so you know I, that's what I would love to do but right now I'm not focused on that right now I'm focused on healing you know because it's just like if you when you worry about the future too much you can mess your future up so at that point you have to be able to focus on the now what are you going to do to heal yourself you know are you still angry at certain situations you have to be able to know why certain doors was closed you know certain ones you can't actually go into yet because of the situations on certain things that you're still holding on to I have to be able to teach myself that not allow myself to be mad at people who have done wrong things for me hurt people hurt people i had to learn that you know, a lot of people, it's deeply rooted. So you have to be able to allow yourself to let things go. And I had to tell myself that a lot. You know, there's a lot of things that still pop up that I even forgot about. But I just ask God and angels, you know, allow me to separate from but allow me to separate from that and please forgive me allow me to forgive myself for allowing me to still even think about those situations because you can't change the past. But that past was supposed to, you know, help build you up in some kind of way. That's your point on, you know, I only can tell you about my experience and how I, you know, I'm currently healing. So you can be able to apply that to your life to see where you need to heal. You know, a lot of us, you know, have big blessings in our lives, but a lot of times we get in the way of those big blessings just because of our opinions about others. And I have to learn, you can't have no opinions about others. You have to be able to let it go. You have to be able to enjoy life because life is too short. It's just so many people around me is, you know, dropping dead left and right. You know, um, there's a lot of things that, you know, I wish I can change. It's like when anything goes on between people and their parents, I always tell them, you know, if it's something that's petty, you know, heal that. You know, we're, we're not going to always have our parents there, but you need to be that for them. And, you know, I can understand if it's something that's very dark, like with my situation. Um, all I can do is just pray for my mom, ex-husband and his wife. I no longer need them in my life because it's not therapeutic for me. You know, if I want to go ahead and be miserable, I'll play, you know, I have them in my life. But being able to have them as that blessing, you know, being able to say, you know, I'm glad I went through this situation because you allowed me to be stronger. You allowed me to be able to apply faith in my life within myself. You know, man will disappoint you every time. But if you have your faith in God and, you know, you know that he has something better out there for me, I'm going to go ahead and gamble my faith with that. So, you know, a lot of these things that has happened to your life, being able to know this is the situation that broke, tried to break you is the things that's going to make you stronger. 
is going to allow you to be able to build yourself up into somebody that can't even be messed with. So allow yourself to know that, you know, even though you might have a direction for your life, God, some God, some way bigger for that for you. So being able to allow them to be able to bless you with that gift and don't hold on to something, you know, that might keep you there. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. I'm going to give a post notification shout out uh, to, let me see, uh, Bizel, as much as Jay Cartwright, much love to you. As always, you know, I uh, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And make sure you send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. Your your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.